Hello, I'm uh, RJ Dent, I'm in my library and the author that I'm going to be looking at today is um, F. Paul Wilson. He's um, uh, an incredibly good novelist uh, and short story writer and it's some of his novels, uh, particularly this one, the in, An Enemy of the State, uh, Healer, uh, Wheels Within Wheels and various others in his series The Laneig um, Federation Chronicles um, and so what we have to do, what I'd like to do then is uh, have a look at this so the first one then is An Enemy of the State and uh, what it is is a novel about a man who um, decides to use the methods of the state to fight against the state itself so he uses their own techniques so if I give you the if I give you the blurb for this Peter Lenaig, citizen of the planet to live or to leave, devotee of the Kitho philosophy, revolutionary agent provocateur. But Peter Lenaig's revolution must be unique. He must not only topple the entrenched outworld imperium, but fundamentally alter every outworlder's concept of government as well. To accomplish this, he must ally himself with a madman, trust in the word of the last of Soul Systems robber barons, make incisive use of the consummate warrants from the planet Flint without letting them run amok, confound at every turn the omnipresent forces of the Imperium and make it rain money every now and then. Okay, so what we've got is uh, you've got a, a libertarian hero of a, a really, really good novel, um, um, Peter Lenaig's uh, Fight with the state is is wonderful um, very very good novel uh, the next one in the series although this to be fair this is the first novel that I read of uh, F. Paul Wilson's and apparently one of the first ones he wrote it was originally a short story in something like astounding short stories or one of those magazine one of those science fiction magazines um, and it was a short story about a person who goes down onto a planet and then is attacked by a life form and they absorb the life form into their mind and then that life form becomes part of that person and helps him helps him become the healer um, I, I can't really tell you anymore without giving it away but it's really really worth reading and this was the first F. Paul Wilson novel I ever read and that was it I was hooked and then I realised later on that this healer book fits into the um, Lenaig um, Chronicles. Right, um, a different version of um, healer here, and I believe this one's got extra material in it as well. Yeah, this has got um, an extra short story in the end there. And it's, uh, this is wonderful. If you can get hold of a copy of Healer, which you've, you will be able to, it's worth reading. It reads like science fiction, but it's only because it's set in a slightly futuristic place. But all the issues and all of the trials and tribulations of the main character are just... They're, they're nothing to do with science fiction. They're just to do with being human. Uh, the next one, uh, Wheels Within Wheels, continues the uh, story. I've arranged these in the sequence that um, uh, Paul Wilson has put them in. And this is a great one. There's a, um, another conspiracy. Um, and it's, in a way, this is a set of, a set of four, three or four short novels that... Um, um, tell the story of um, the characters within and it's just um, it's a really good idea so it's almost like a detective story I would say uh, incredibly worth reading um, and then lastly uh, the Lene Chronicles with a very odd cover there I know. Um, but again it sets them out in the sequence and what it does it's um, so the sequence is that you've got an enemy of the state, then you've got a couple of chapters from Healer, 
then you've got another chapter from here, then you've got Wheels Within Wheels, then you've got another couple of chapters from Healer. And I know recently that um, F. Paul Wilson has um, updated that, the Lene Chronicles. You can buy them as an e-book now, with every story arranged in the correct sequence, uh, with lots of extras than the ones I've just mentioned, other short stories, other stories. Um, anyway, so that's F. Paul Wilson. Um, an author that I have in my library who is worth reading and if you get a chance please do